Hey, hi guys, and welcome to this Dime Online video lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at some ways to practice and create a linear feel with a swung 16th feel. Now, in a, in a recent previous lesson, I demonstrated this concept with some straight 16th notes for like a straight funk or an R&B or a hip hop kind of feel. Now, we can go through the same process, which I'll explain in a little while, um, but taking a swung 16th feel. And that means that we swing the E's and the R beats. So we swing the E and the R 16th notes, and we move towards the triplet notes, the third and the sixth 16th triplet. Sounds more complicated than it is. Essentially, we're just trying to feel that swing feel. We're moving those E's and R notes uh, a little bit later to give that swing feel. There are various degrees of swing, but you kind of just feel it within the tempo range. Obviously, when the tempo gets faster, you get less room to maneuver, so to speak. So it's, it's more difficult to actually feel the swing at faster tempos. Okay, now the process for this is essentially the same as working through straight 16th notes. I'm gonna take a bass drum pattern. So I'll just take a generic bass drum pattern and you can choose any bass drum pattern you wish to, to practice this exercise. I'm then going to play the notes in between on the right hand, then on the left hand, and then just combinations between right and left. There's no real routine there, I'm just kind of improvising with it. I'll keep a backbeat on two and four, so I'm also of course playing in between the backbeat. You can also add different embellishments on the backbeat, different backbeat um, positions. So you want to hit those like the A or the E that would become those triplet equivalents. Okay, so the process is essentially the same uh, as, as I would have indicated in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. I'm gonna take you through that now um, at a slow tempo, and then just a little bit faster. And then I'm gonna demonstrate the concept just along to, to a couple of loops. One is a kind of a, almost like a New Orleans feel, um, second line feel. And the other one is more of a syncopated funk, swung funk feel. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration on that. Um, I'm just improvising. It's going to sound a little bit like an exercise, but that's okay. I'm just going to see what comes out. There's no real structure. Just moving around, trying to get that linear feel, experiment with different sounds, and see what happens. I find it to be a really useful exercise. Remember, in general, it, it's not very typical or common to play totally in a linear style. It's something that you might play for part of a tune or just use it as an embellishment of the main groove. But as an exercise, it's good just to put some kind of backing track or loop on uh, and really just experiment and see what happens with this concept. Okay, one final thing, just bear in mind that in the the process of working through playing the notes in between, I'm not playing with full dynamics, uh, and I recommend that you just kind of tap this out to get a feel for that separation, get a feel for that linear idea and that linear concept. So I'm just playing that quite quiet, no real dynamics, just trying to get the coordination, if you like, get, get a, ba a linear bass from which I can then work to, to incorporate more um, more dynamics and more musical ideas. Okay, that's all from me for now. Here we go with the process followed by two short improvised examples. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.